Happy New Year. I'm Tess Whitehurst and it's the new moon. So last night was the new moon. And so today I have a card reading for you from my Magic of Flowers Oracle deck to help you navigate the entire moon cycle ahead. So last night was a solar eclipse and a new moon in Capricorn, first new moon of the year. And we have for this first quarter moon, um, so the first week of the moon cycle roughly, we have yarrow. And this flower, uh, this card is called protective shield. Yarrow has a protective energy. And the message from Yarrow for us specifically is to remember that worry and fear can be like negative prayers. So to stay out of worry and fear as much as we can by calling on the divine for help, for breathing, relaxing, and cultivating an, a sense of expansive calm and well-being. So think about this guy. So look at this, this warrior here in his face. He's calm because he trusts that he can protect himself. So to remember that, it's important for us to remember to have our own back. So we don't have to worry what other people think of us. We don't have to worry about what other people may do or say because we know that we're our own best friend. So relaxing into that awareness, relaxing your belly, relaxing your shoulders, and cultivating an essence of expansive calm. So, okay, so then for the second quarter moon, so that will be roughly the week before the full moon. So you can look on a calendar and find first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter. Second quarter moon, we have morning glory, which is awaken to magic. And so specifically for us, I mean, it's always good to remember that you are magical, that you have the power to create positive change. The, the message for us specifically for the second quarter moon is that there is a solution or a perspective that we haven't yet thought of that will benefit us. It's awaiting our recognition. So be alert be awake and aware to another way of doing something or something you haven't thought of yet or even just a fresh perspective. Okay, then after the full moon, the week-ish after the full moon, the third quarter, we have Neroli, which is harmonious partnership. And it's a wonderful thing to remember in this life that we are learning to collaborate and we're learning to connect and we're learning to be seen and known and that is painful and challenging <laughs> so so it can hurt to relax open to be vulnerable to let others know that you need help or that you're scared or unhappy or you know just any way that you may be feeling maybe it, anything so the the message for us with this and, and this card like all the cards they can have a number of meanings intuitively um, I'm getting the message that it's going to benefit us to remember to open up into vulnerability and authenticity to let other people see us so that we can connect with others so Breathe, relax your belly, open your heart, and just be real, be honest. Say what's true for you. And that's gonna feel so nourishing. That's the way we get beyond loneliness and begin to feel meaning and connection in our lives, really, is by being open and vulnerable. Okay, and then we have for the fourth quarter moon, so the week before the new moon, which will be on February 4th, we have jasmine which is sensual pleasure so ah, 
jasmine. I love the smell of jasmine. And um, it's such a sensual flower and it helps us to get out of our heads and into our bodies. And the message for us for this fourth quarter moon with jasmine is to release negative thoughts about your body. So as much as you possibly can, cultivate a loving, compassionate sense, a loving and compassionate way of relating to your physical self. And mindfulness is body, is coming into your body, is being aware of the way your body feels. So just feeling, what does it feel like to sit on this chair? What does the air feel like on my skin? What does this food or this song feel like in my body? So coming into this body awareness and then releasing harsh, critical, judging ways of thinking about or talking to your body. Because your body is such a faithful, loving friend that supports you in every way. So, and if your body's hurting, listen to your body. What is your body telling you with that? creating loving and compassionate shifts based on the messages your body's giving you. Okay, so those are your messages for this moon cycle, the first new moon of 2019. Wishing you a beautiful, magical moon cycle and beautiful, magical year. Mm -hmm.